Welcome back to another video. I am real and today Today's video is one you guys have been asking for all summer. All summer long I've been hearing, Rio, when's the summer hall coming? Rio, when's the summer hall coming? Today's the day. Today is the day I'm gonna show you everything that I picked up. Well, not, not everything, but mostly what I picked up over these past few months. I showed you a snippet of what I bought in spring with my Ralph Lauren pickups. I have a couple more of those and quite a few things, also some footwear. I'm gonna try not to make this video too long because I have a lot of things to go over. So I'm gonna try to go over them fairly quickly, so let's do it. First, before we do that, I have a few things I wanna go over with you. First thing, if you haven't seen my last few videos, for some reason that you guys haven't been watching my last few videos, but if you haven't seen those videos, make sure you go check them out. I did launch my big project, which is a website. I also do have a outfit contest hosted on my website. So feel free to go check it out. I will link that video right up here if you there. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. I'm really looking for feedback. That's the first thing. Second thing, I guess I only got two things. But the second thing is, I have a couple things that were sent my way, so I'm gonna share those with you, and then I'll show you everything that I have bought. So the first thing I wanna show you, got a box. So if you've seen my what was it? Thread Beast unboxing. I uploaded that video early part of this year. If you've seen that, one of the things I unboxed was a pair of underwear. PSD underwears. I've learned a little more about the company because I had no clue what they were or where they came from, but I've worn them and I can say that they are extremely comfortable. PSD reached out and sent a bundle. I mean, just a bundle of underwear. If you're not familiar, which I wasn't myself, PSD was founded by Jimmy Butler and Kyrie Irving, which to me all makes sense now because of the comfortability of wearing these. So each pack contains one pair of rocket boxer briefs. I have just all kind of weird, probably can't see that, but all kind of weird designs, pizza, hot dogs. This one has, um, I forgot what that thing is called, Stars and Stripes. It's a whole bunch of different things. Personally, I don't like to wear this kind of decorative underwear. I'm a simple black and gray kind of dude. If you're in sports and looking for comfort, then something that gives you good mobility and flexibility and also, you know, it's comfortable, definitely something worth checking out. I will link them down below. The website is PSD Underwear and use code REAL20 for 20% off. And the next thing I wanna show you before I show you my pickups is something else that was sent to me. I was sent some belts by a company named Core Essentials, K-O-R-E. Why I like this is because I actually wear belts similar to this that I've worn for the past couple years. And that belt is called a ratchet belt. Now I've probably worn this one for the past two years. It's a black with almost a gunmetal-like buckle. And if you're not familiar with the ratchet belt, basically how it works is it has notches on the belt and it allows for you to fully adjust this belt while it's on your waist. I'll show you basically what this does when I'm already putting it on, I'm not wearing the belt right now. So it goes in like so, you hear that clicking, that's the belt going through the notches. So you can easily adjust the belt. What I got tired of, which is the reason why I looked into getting one of these, I got tired of always having to adjust my belt, having to be too tight, and too loose, because you're right between belt holes. So this allows for you to get the fit that you need and always have flexibility and adjustability. I've only always had it in black, but they reached out and sent a new black one and a brown one. The belt I've had for a couple years is in my core essentials, so they blessed me with these two, which I'm very, very thankful for. So basically it's how it works. When you get your belt originally, it's pretty much one size fits all. This is it, uncut. So what you do is actually cut what you need, or what you don't need rather, and then you will attach your buckle. It's really just that simple. And then, of course, you wear it. This is uncut, so it's just normal how it fits. And then you have the adjustability for whatever you need. So again, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Core Essentials will also be linked down below, so feel free to check them out as well. Now it's time to get into my pickups. Hope you enjoy. In normal, real fashion, I'm going to start from the top and then work my way down. So first up, I have a hat. This hat is a 47 brand, snap, uh, not snapback, dad cap, strap back, whatever you want to call it. 47 brand has pretty much been running the game and dad has as of late. I saw this one, I thought it was pretty cool. This is, um, I think the Chicago flag something, I'm not sure, you got your 47 brand on the side. Chicago Bears, Cubs, not Bears. I don't know, it's, it's, it's late, I'm tired. <laughs> Chicago Cubs on the side. I really just like the overall design of it. I like the flag on the front with the Cubs logo on the side. Pretty much why I got it. I don't really buy sports hats because I'm a fan of a certain team. 
I'll buy it for the colors and the aesthetics of it. This one actually I think will look good with what I'm wearing right now. I'm not gonna wear it, put it on, but I think it will look pretty good with that. So that's what I got and why I got it. Next up, we're gonna get into the clothes. You really can't see much of it, but the corner here, you can see I have a rack. It's not full of clothes, but it's about halfway. So it's about time I hop in this because I've already been talking longer than I planned on. Let's get into the clothes. So I just realized this shirt is fairly wrinkled. Uh, my apologies for that. Lately, I've been digging the simplistic logo t-shirts. If you've seen my best accessory for Jordan 1 Brands video, I wore this t-shirt in it. Simple Calvin Klein t-shirt with jeans and red on the left sleeve. This is what it looks like on me. I picked it up in a size medium. Mainly I wear a size large. When it comes to shirts like this, I like wearing them in a size medium just because they give more of an overall fitted look. And I can also wear them tucked in without having too much spillage. This is what this shirt looks like. Nothing special about it. Just a white tee with Calvin Klein on the front. All right, and the next one I picked up is another simple logo tee. This one is the Abercrombie and Fitch. I forgot to mention with the Calvin Klein shirt, I got that one from Marshalls and I think I paid about 20 bucks for it. I don't know, it wasn't Marshalls, maybe TJ Maxx. One of the others, I'm not, I don't really, really remember. I think it was TJ Maxx actually. I think I paid about 20 bucks for this one and I found this one on eBay, brand new with tags. Again, in a size medium. I like the fact that these shirts can be tucked in. That's why I went with mediums on these. Otherwise, I probably would have done a large just to get more of a, a oversized feel on it. When I intend on tucking a shirt in, I want it, and I'll show you what that looks like actually. When I intend on tucking a shirt in, I don't want it to have too much spillage and over it, and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so there we go. So the fact that this is a medium allows for it to be just a cleaner tuck. So there's not too much hanging over, just a fairly clean tuck all the way around. And that's what I look for when I grab a tee that I intend to wear like this. That's the second shirt. Now it's time to move on to the third. T-shirt number three is another Abercrombie and Fitch shirt. This one is in gray with, I believe, navy writing on it. Pretty simple Abercrombie and Fitch, New York, New York. Size medium, I think about 20 bucks for this one as well. But this is what this one looks like untucked. And then I'll do another tuck again for you guys. And this is what this one looks like tucked in as well. Again, just very clean, very simple, not too much spillage, it being a size medium. I love that these shirts can be paired with so many different things, whether it's trousers, jeans, suit pants. There's a lot of different things you can do with them. I just wanted to expand and explore different options. So that's why I grabbed these and I've been digging these a lot lately. All right, so my next item here is going to be a jersey. As you can see, this one is Penny Hardaway in the Orlando Magic Black Pinstripe. Now I actually have this jersey already in a Nike brand, but Nike really doesn't hold much weight as it does the champion, so I picked it up in a champion. This one is a size 44, which I believe equates to like a medium large. I could do one size smaller, but I do like the way the 44 fits on me. It does give me a little more of a oversized overage, which is what I kind of prefer in a jersey. It's kind of just what I like. Since I do have this one now, I will be selling my other one and I'll be putting that on my website. The link is down below, check it out. And then I found this one on eBay. I forgot how much I paid for it. It must have been between 80 to 100. And another jersey. This one, as you can see, is gonna be the Charlotte Hornets number two, which is Mr. LJ, Larry Johnson, grandmama himself. I mainly got this one because the Turbo Greens that came out around that time, I forgot exactly, was that April? I don't, I don't remember. But I got this solely to pair with the Turbo Greens just because it was inspired by the Charlotte Hornets. Uh, but being a white top with some um, aqua heads, of course you can wear this with some um, aqua eights or whatever you know aqua sneaker that you have, it just works really well. This one as well is a size 44. I think this one fits a little bit smaller than that Penny Hardaway jersey. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. And that's one thing you find with these champion jerseys because they're so vintage and, and, and old, really. Sometimes the sizing can be a little bit off, but both of them do fit the way I would prefer. And yeah, I like it. All right, so my third and final jersey is going to be a USA champion jersey, number six. Which player is it? Let's see if you can guess before I turn around. I give you five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. The player is Penny Hardaway. We have another Penny Hardaway jersey, USA. 
I believe this was the 96 team. I want to be sure and certain. I'm pretty positive, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Again, this one as well is going to be a champion in the size 44. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I like champion jerseys. I actually had a whole video a few months back of just champion jersey pickups. And I re recall somebody had commented and said I should do Mitchell and Ness jerseys instead of champion. And I do understand that Mitchell and Ness has a bit of a higher prestige than a champion jersey. I personally just like champion jerseys. That's just, it's just me, it's my thing. I personally think that champion jerseys have more of a nostalgic aspect to me because they have a little more history. And in most cases, they're going to be retro. It's, you know, they have some, some history to this particular piece and it's some ownership of someone else. And if you can find them in good condition at a good price point, I think they're a good buy personally. So that's why I like them. But as you can see, this one fits very similar to the Larry Johnson Charlotte Hornets jersey. All three of the champion jerseys were at eBay finds, um, which I like a lot. All right, if you're still with me, this top that I am wearing, right now is another top from Ralph Lauren. A few months back, I did a Ralph Lauren pickup video, which was supposed to be part of my spring summer haul, but I decided to break that up and release that video much earlier. Since doing that and purchasing those, I went back to Ralph Lauren and got a couple more, just because I like those button-ups a lot. And I found this almost like a light blue or mid blue stripe with a, well, light blue and then white striped. This one is in a size medium as well. And as you can see how it fits, the overall silhouette. I like these shirts a lot. In the beginning of this video, uh, during the intro, I was wearing a similar version of this, just in a different color, uh, the blue, which is the chambray. Pretty sure it's chambray. So I just almost had a heart attack. I filmed all of this stuff that you've seen and then I thought that it didn't because the camera stopped at some point and I didn't realize it stopped. Luckily I didn't go too far with talking and filming after it stopped. <sighs> Crisis averted. I, I thought I didn't capture none of that. Not, I almost had a meltdown. Anyway, we're all good. This is the second shirt, the second Ralph Lauren shirt that I'm wearing. This one is also in a blue and white stripes, but this one is more of a lighter blue and then the blue stripes are much wider as well and then the white stripes are thinner. This one as well is in a size medium. I got this one around the same time I got the other one and they both were on sale. There's so many different things that these button ups can be worn with. Button up or button down. Button down can be worn with button up. I'm not sure which one to call it, button up or button down. You let me know down in the comment. But that's the second shirt. So I, <laughs> I just realized that I never took the size tag off the back of that. So if you, if you saw that, just ignore it. Just, just don't say nothing about it. Just, just let it go, please. All right, so the next four, five pickups will be jackets, and then we're gonna get into the pants and then the footwear. So I threw back on one of the Abercrombie & Fitch t-shirts just to throw this denim jacket on over it. So Old Navy a few weeks back had a sale. Uh, I don't remember what the sale was. It was half off, yeah, half off of everything. So I picked up a couple of denim jackets. I got this uh, more of like a, still got the tag, I haven't even you know, worn it or nothing yet. So I got this one in a more of a light blue, light mid blue, and it is a size medium. All of my other denim jackets are size large, and I wanted to have options that fit my frame and silhouette a little bit better without things being a little more on the oversized side. Now I do still have use for those, and I still wear them and plan to wear them, but I find that if it's something like this where it's just a t-shirt and then it's you know, not much layering, having something that flowy and that oversized doesn't look as clean as it would if I was going to wear it with a layering piece. So the larger jacket is great for layering, putting over a hoodies or other you know, bigger item clothing. Or if I'm wearing a bit of an oversized t-shirt, that's when I want to wear that jacket so everything kind of looks more proportioned. Now, if I'm wearing something a little more fitted, size large just doesn't look as good. So I wanted to get some mediums as options. So I picked up this one from Old Navy, as I mentioned. Again, when it's half off, really can't beat that price. From a quality standpoint, I think it looks pretty good. Not bad for a half off jacket. It's a typical standard denim jacket. Of course, there's so many different things you can do with it. So many different things it could be worn with. Just a great option buy for me, in my opinion. Especially, you know, when it's half off, you really can't beat that. So that's what that looks like. So in this one, we have another Old Navy jacket. Let me get my collar right. So another Old Navy jacket, size medium as well. I threw on that 
gray and navy Abercrombie & Fitch shirt. Just to show you how that looks on over that. Fix myself up. Same thing, it's more of a darker wash. This one actually looks like I'm wearing a Canadian tuxedo because the top and the jeans are so close together in color. I only got these maybe like three weeks ago and they've been sitting in the closet since. So as you can see, it's just more of a fitted size. And I think fitted items have their time and their place in, in you know, somebody's wardrobe and they have their time and place in mind. So this was the second Old Navy jacket. And this is the third, third, third denim jacket. This one is by American Eagle. This one as well is in a size medium. Again, just to give you more of a fitted look. That's kind of what I was going for. It's, I have a, a light, a dark, and this one I believe is more of a mint blue. I threw back on the jersey just to kind of show you guys different looks with these jackets. Now with this one, I probably may wear a bit of a bigger jacket just because the jersey adds that extended length. And the distance from the bottom of this jacket, this one, it's it's long, maybe it's too long, maybe it's, I don't know, I don't know. Um, maybe it looks good, I, it's kind of hard to tell because I can't really see what you guys can. But if it doesn't, then I would throw on a bigger jacket just to give it that better symmetry. Now that fall is approaching, if you guys want a video on denim jackets, let me know down below in the comment section or just hit this video with a thumbs up. But I, I would appreciate it if you let me know in the comment section because you guys really don't leave a lot of comments on my videos. Drop comments down below what you guys think about the video so far, what's your favorite piece. Also, if you have things that you've been picking up lately that I should be aware of or things that you think I should know about, let me know down below. Anyway, one more jacket, let's get into it. All right, so this is our third denim jacket. And as you can see, this one actually has Sherpa lining on the collar and all inside. So fully lined with Sherpa. This one is by Lee, where's the red? Levi's right there. This one is by Levi's. I picked this one up about maybe a month ago. I haven't really worn it yet. This is probably my third, second or third, I can't remember. Second or third Levi's Sherpa lined jacket. On my website, the landing page that you see, I'm wearing the darker version of this. And I had somebody ask where I got it from. All of my Sherpa Live jackets are from Levi's. This is a size large. So I decided to get this one more on a truer fit. I tried them in a medium. I tried it just to see if how it would look as more of a, more of a, a cleaner, slimmer. It doesn't work. The lining, of course, takes away some of the spacing inside of it. Um, it just didn't look good. The sleeves were a little bit too short. It was kind of up here. Yeah, it wasn't a good look for your boy, so. As a matter of fact, I still have those mediums. There's two of them. I have one just like this, the one a little bit darker. They're both in a size medium. If you want those, I'll be putting those on my website. I'll link it down below, or you can just go to my website and browse everything I have for sale and check it out. But this is how this one looks. I'll give you a quick spin. All right, so this next piece, I wanted to show you a little more properly. So I'm throwing something that'd be more suited for it. So I'm wearing the white top from Ralph Lauren. This is one of the pickups I had in that spring Ralph Lauren pickup video. And then I threw on a pair of tailored suit pants in navy. And now what I wanted to show you, so this is a blue, bluish plaid blazer from Zara. So I picked this one up while I was in Chicago a month or so ago. The white shirt underneath just gives the stripes inside a little more of a pop. There's something in here. Oh, tags. So I wore this in some photos that you guys will probably see at some point, which leads me to the point, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do that. Head over to my IG, check out my feed, give me a follow, link is down below. So basically with this blazer, it's more of a textured blue with the white and darkish blue stripes in it, more of a window pane pattern. What I also like was the navy professor like elbow patches. Not something I would usually go for. It is a double button notch lapel blazer that looks pretty nice. And because I'm sure you guys want to see the whole fit, I just threw these on with a pair of white bands. Probably wouldn't be my choice for the actual outfit. I probably would just do more of a brown dress shoe or maybe like a monk strap or something like that. Just to kind of give it a little more classed up a little bit. But if you want to dress it down, a white sneaker would be a good option. I'm not ready for the footwear portion of this video yet, but I guess I can show you these and then show you the rest of them. So these are white 
Vans, Old Schools, and the Leather Upper. So I'll get more into those in detail when I get into the kicks, but I think it's time to move on to the next piece. All right, so this video is way longer than I ever intended for it to be, but we're gonna keep rocking, we're gonna keep going. We got the pants, the sneakers, and then we're done. We're gonna finish it off. I do wanna let you know that if the energy, or if my energy, is not there anymore, that it's, it's pretty late. It's after midnight, as you can see, it's almost one o'clock in the morning. I've worked today, I've got home, organized all this stuff, got ready to film this video for you guys. It's late, I gotta work tomorrow, I gotta try to get this edited. I'm just doing my best to try to push out content for you guys and trying to find different places in my life where I can do that instead of doing things like resting. I'm working, I'm grinding, so I hope you guys appreciate that. So if you're still watching this video and you're still enjoying, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It already does let me know that you guys are joining content and drop a comment down below. If you've gotten this far, comment down below. Since it's almost one o'clock in the morning, comment down below. The freaks come out at night. I think people will be like, what? Why the hell are people commenting this? So that'd be a good joke to play on people who didn't watch the whole video. So, all right, so now we are into the trousers part of this video. So I got, including what I'm wearing, five pair total, I believe, and then four sneakers total, including the white ones that you've already saw, which I am wearing again. The t-shirt I'll be wearing for the remainder of this video is a black t-shirt from Urban Outfitters. It has a pocket on the left chest and it's a size medium. The black trousers that I am wearing is from River Island and I picked these up on ASOS. And as a matter of fact, I think the rest of the trousers I picked up is from ASOS. These particular are a size, I believe a 34. I will double check that and link it down below in the description. And I just got them in all black. I've actually worn these with that Calvin Klein shirt that you saw earlier in the best accessories for the Jordan 1 video. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out. The pants itself aren't technically cropped, but I did just do one cuff just to show a little more ankle and the, um, and the look. All right, so the second pair of pants you see here, Again, it's also from ASOS. These as well are in the size 34. However, I did have to make some alterations to these as well as to two others that I will show you as well. So what I've learned these past few months is that my waist, which is a true 32, and jeans is more like a 33, 34 in trousers. However, when I purchased a 32, they're too small, when I purchased the 34, they're a little bit too big. So I guess a 33 would be a true, true size. But a lot of places don't offer a 33. So what I found myself having to do was purchase the 34 and then adjust the waist by making some alterations. So I did that to these. I just took in the waist some, just to bust out the seam, put it under the sewing machine, and got it to fit the way I want to. These could be taken in a little bit more. I just kept some room. There's a little bit too much room in it still. So I'm gonna make some more adjustments to them at some point, but this is how they fit and look on me. Now I did just keep these white bands on, mainly because I don't have anything else out here. And I, since it's one o'clock in the morning, I didn't feel like going to go look for other sneakers to wear. So please excuse the intrusion on my feet because this is probably not, is not what I'll be wearing with these, with this outfit. With the trousers, I think that the t-shirt looks great tucked in as well so this is how this looks this particular pair does give you more of a high-waisted type design on them they're not technically high-waisted but it gives you that gives you that look so that's what these are they're in a more of a, a black and gray kind of plaid they do have a textured feel to them. This probably isn't something that you would wear during the summertime, especially if it's super hot outside. And as you've probably seen, more than half of what I've actually showcased so far probably would not be your ideal summer wardrobe. And that's mainly because me personally, I usually shop out of season. I shop for pieces, not necessarily for the season. And if I find things I would like to add to my wardrobe that's not in season, more than likely I'm probably going to just pick it up. So is this the second pair of pants or the third? Because I've lost track. But anyway, this is some number of the pair of pants that I was showcasing. These are by the brand Bershka, and I got these, I, is that how you pronounce it? I, I'm not sure, Bershka, Bershka? I'm, I'm just gonna say Bershka. <laughs> these are by the brand Bershka. These are 
were also picked up on ASOS as well. And these are a size 32. These are what are considered the skinny crop fit. As you can see, I also have on the cool gray fours. These are part of my summer pickup for our sneakers. And I felt the way to kind of condense the rest of the remaining of the video was to kind of basically pair the pants and the sneakers and show those together. What I'm wearing right now, I wouldn't wear this together. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't really like the look of it. The colors don't really work for me. The pants do have a unique uh, herringbone plaid kind of thing going on with it. Beiges and oranges. Again, they are cropped. The crop thing is it's, it's growing on me. It's not something I would fully, fully dive into because it's really, it's, it's not me. I don't mind trying new things. I don't mind trying different things. So I thought I would just give it a shot. If you guys want to see how I would really style these cool gray fours, let me know down below in the comments or also follow me on IG. I'll post different outfits, different things there as well. All right, for the next pair of pants, these as well are gonna be from ASOS. These were also a size 34, but I have done some adjustments to the waist and taking these down to fit me perfectly. I got these to fit the way I would want the black, white, and grayish color pants to fit. These feature more of like a wool-like exterior. Single pleats, just a really nice color as well. They have a very unique tone, almost like a camel-like plaid. Not something you wear for the summer, amazing for the fall, even maybe for the winter. I decided to go just shoeless with just socks because the next two pair of sneakers that I have, it just wouldn't work for this look. And if I just threw them on, just threw them on, you guys think I was crazy and I can't have you thinking that. If any of this stuff is still available, I will have it linked down below. Some of these things may not be. If I can link something that's similar, I will. Uh, I'll do my best. For our last and final pair of trousers, we have this charcoal gray window pane, rushed brown striped kind of thing going on. These have double pleats on each side, uh, a very wide upper which is unique, it's different. I wasn't sure if I liked it at first, um, but I think I do. It's, I like the, the, the different feel towards this one. Now these were purchased in my normal size, which is a size 32, but they still felt too big in a waist. So I did take these in as well. They originally are cropped and I didn't want them to be so cropped. So I got them in a longer length. So these are technically a 32, 34. When they do stop right at the ankle though, does give me a look that I would prefer. I could maybe do a, a single cuff on this and just stitch it that way. I'm not sure, I, I might. I didn't originally plan to do this with a black top, but I think it looks great with the black. Again, no shoes because what I got out here just wouldn't look right, but this is what my last pair of pants are. So what do you guys think of the trousers? It's again, it's something that I'm just kind of getting into, something I'm trying out. Let me know what you guys thought are on the trousers down below in the comment section. I might be late to the party, maybe not, I'm not sure. All right, now it's time to round this thing off with my last two pair of sneakers. So as you can see on my feet, I have a pair of old school Vans, and these are gonna be in a navy colorway. In some of these outfits, you saw the white leather Vans. These are of course gonna be in the canvas. One of the reasons why I decided to pick up Vans this summer is because they're such an essential shoe. They're easy to wear, they're trendy, they look great. They work with so many different outfits and styles. It's a shoe that I feel that everyone should have in their collection. The navy colorway was central. They look amazing with this color pair of jeans. So far, as you can see, I got them in white. I got them in navy. And I also got them in yellow. These are gonna be the pig suede in the yellow colorway. I'm not sure if these are new, or they've been out for a while. I haven't really seen them a whole lot. They are also scotch guarded, so protection against the rain and elements outside. I don't personally wear a lot of yellow, but I do have some yellow things in my wardrobe. And I just thought that this would be a good thing to help complement it, especially for something like this. Oh, it's always dropping something. So if you see my previous champion jersey video, you would have saw that I picked this up. And if I did something like that, this is how it would look. In most cases, I would do it without a t-shirt, but I think that's okay with the t-shirt as well. But I think the yellow bands is the perfect complement to something like this. Let me know what you guys think of this pickup. It's out of my ordinary, out of my realm, but thought I'd give it a shot. All right, that does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this video has been severely long. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit it with a thumbs up because right now it is 1.34 a.m. and I'm tired, hungry, sleepy, and here I am filming so you guys have content. So if you made it to the end of this video, comment, don't call it a comeback. 
I don't know why it just came to my head. It's the first thing that came to my head. Hope you guys enjoyed this extremely long haul video. I would do my best not to make any more haul videos this long, unless you guys like it this way. I've gone through, so far since I've done this video, I filled up one SD card, I went through one battery in the camera, and one battery, and one battery on my external, um, external monitor. This is gonna be a lot of editing to get done. I intended on having this edit in a day, it's not gonna happen. Probably will be two, three days, so it's gonna take me to do this because you know I got normal life, living, work stuff. Again, thanks for watching. Comment down below things you liked about this video. And also, if you didn't like some things about it, let me know so I can work on fixing those things. Follow me over on IG. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that. There's some tons of content coming the way. And you can see I'm finding ways to keep on grinding. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.